Hi friends, now we're going to talk about how we can enter um, fast entry to for invoice or credits. Okay, for that you have to go to this transaction. I'll show you, I'll just go here. Okay, and uh, the transaction code is FB10. Okay, so once you enter the transaction from here, you can give the account number, which is the vendor number, and here you can enter all this information. Now, what happens is here you can define the screen layout based on what you have. So here, if you notice, I have created one for myself. So how you can define this? This is very tricky because here you can define the change, the, the, the order in which it shows up. So how can I get it? So in order to get it, you have to go here. I am in SPRO, okay? And let me make sure I remember this, this uh, define the screen template for this. So, what I'll do. so here, so I'll just copy this because I'll forget this. So now, what I'm going to do is I'll go to SPRO. Okay, and here I can, or let me see whether I can go from here. Mask. Click on the F1 here. So if I click on F1, yep. That's wonderful. Okay, so here you can see I can go from here and that will probably take me to the fast entry. Oh, there's a lots of fast entry pieces. Okay, so define entry for parking reason, entry screen for parking. It would be here somewhere. Okay, let's go by that route. Okay, so we'll go to SPRO. We copied this and we'll go here. And we'll search with this for GL account items. And once we search this, this this text, I'll show the exact place where it is. So it's in financial accounting. Okay, so here you can see it's in financial accounting. You go to business transaction, and here invoice credit memo fast entry incoming invoice. This, this is the path. So here, what I'll do is here I will go. And create a template. So how will I create a template? So first thing is I'll just copy this and I'll just create suppose Z test one. Okay. This is my one that I created just now. Now here, suppose I want to change the order in which it shows up. Or suppose I want to give so here if you notice there is order here and all those things. So what I can do is 38 plus 10 is 48 from here to here is so suppose I don't want this so can I delete it yes, let me delete this uh, I'll click on this so that's kept okay, that's fine let me click on delete and on a field so it's saying position of the field name and now I deleted this see the order is gone okay and now what I'm going to do is I'll just save it but the sequence has not been kept so the sequence has not been kept so this is 14 that would be 31 okay. and this one would be 31 38 okay so this would be from the uh, 62 that would be probably 67 we are adding you notice nothing but the thing is behind here is I'll show is 3 plus 10 13 plus 1 40 you need to come here and then you have to again this add it 31 like this it shows okay uh, so in this way it works like this so 31 to this would be probably it would be 34 34 this plus 10 and I'll make this correction so I'll make it 45 so 45 and here 45 plus 4 49 plus 150 so I'll make this 50 so in this way it's working so let's save it save this wonderful we are and we can we can save it's custom and now I'll click save okay now what we have to do is go We'll go to our place where we will enter 
the mask. So if you notice, it doesn't show the mask yet. Okay. So they have to go completely outside, yes. Like that. And completely outside. Probably now it will show. Uh, enter. A mask. It doesn't show yet. It's strange. So that's fine. We are going to go here. Go to FB10. Click on mask. And this. Oh, I need to activate it. That's the mistake I was making. So if you notice, this is not activated. That's why it might not show. So I need to click on this and I activate it. Now it will show. Okay, so let's go there. Click on mask. And there it is. Or million dollar variant and here you can see the orders are missing so if you notice so suppose you have a requirement that you don't need to give the cost center or whatever order it is okay and uh, I don't need this and I don't need to put orders so in this way you can push it okay so this is the way you can create your own variant and live with it and work smartly so that's it stay tuned to my SAP channel and happy SAP learning and if you like it share and subscribe to it and have a good day